Your boxing fans here in Manchester, reporter Ben Shalom obviously heard the disappointing news from Alexander Usyk's team that the fight is off. Frank Warren came on to talk about later on saying, look, we're trying to still make this fight happen. You've been around this game a little while now. You know how negotiation tactics work and everything else. Do you firstly believe that fight's off? Or do you believe it can be maybe a negotiation tactic to maybe give Tyson Fury a little kick to say, come on, let's make that fight? That's what I thought for a long time. But if it is off, it's devastating. It's shit. It's terrible for the sport and it is what it is. But unless the big fights... There's so would we have chosen David Light for Lawrence Kelly in his first fight? Probably not. But because the sport demands it and there's a mandatory, what can you do? Maybe there needs to be something in place for unification so for the big fights to happen because otherwise business is just going to take its... Any other sport, Man United play Liverpool, Federer plays against Nadal, Verstappen has to race against Lewis Hamilton. It just is what it is. That's what sport is. Why is our sport so fucked up that we don't... This is not even a, it's not even a proper sport. Well, and anyway, uh, that's just my take. And people will say, "Oh, that's hypocritical, this and that." Not, not when it's so obvious and it's such a big fight and it's unifications and this and that. For me, it would be nice maybe to take it out of promoters' hands. Sometimes our hands are tied and things like that, and say, "No, it has to happen." Um, but uh, yeah, it would be devastating if it doesn't happen because it, really, the casual fans they only want they only interested in the big fights, and when they don't happen, they just turn off from everything. Cole Foch is saying that uh, Tyson Fury is a walking contradiction, says that he can fight AJ for free and then now he wants 70% of the purse. <laughs> what do you make of that? I can see how it looks like that, but we never know what's going on really. So I can see right now how it looks like that because it seems like Oli Sanders done everything he can to make the fight and obviously the previous comments of Tyson and he'll fight anyone and fight anyone for free and this and that. But we don't know really what's going on and one thing that I've learned is you actually don't know and all these people that think they know don't know. I work in boxing, so I know what goes on behind the scenes and so we can all speculate about what's actually happened but we we really actually don't know what the all we do know is the fight should be bloody easy to make and straightforward and it's not happened and that's hurtful for the sport and without blaming anyone it's just that it is it is dark for boxing that, that a fight like that doesn't happen before I let you go, just list off all the events you've got coming up. You've announced quite a few in the last couple of days. So for fans that are watching this, just talk to me about what you've got coming up. Yeah, we actually have got a, a, a fuller schedule to announce next week, but we didn't want to... We've got Lawrence Coley this week. That's our focus. We wanted to land a few dates because the venues wanted us to announce them and put pressure on them and get the tickets moving. But yeah, it's going to be a big schedule. Two more shows to announce next week, two more big shows. So it's uh, it's an exciting time, obviously, for us. We've finally got the headliners and people coming through. Ben Whitaker feels like a new signing. Lauren and Karius do after being injured last year as well. But Watsi's a new signing. Lawrence is a new signing. Everything's good, new getting to like a second phase where we can plan events but yeah big schedule coming up obviously this weekend on the 25th then we're in Poland for Babich's world title and Martin Bacoli and Caroline Dubois again Jamie TKB will be in a big fight over there which we have high hopes for May the 6th but Watsi's debut against Stepan for me perfect fight a guy that was ready to fight Caleb Smith and, 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 and we needed a guy that was ready in five weeks that's hard to find at this level and so Finding someone like that that's already done a camp and is raring to go and is unbeaten is perfect because we need him out. Ben Whitaker, Tyler Denny, Fraser Clark, huge card in Birmingham. We think that's going to be big, big for Midlands boxing. I think Ben Whitaker, Fraser Clark will be selling out those arenas one day and it starts on May the 6th and May 27th at Bournemouth Stadium after the a long journey with Chris Witham Smith over the last 12 months for a career defining fight. Mikel Lowell against Isaac Chamberlain, which is another big fight, uh, British cruiserweight fight, and then the star, Adam Azim returns.